Mother. Good morning. Good morning, DJM. Good morning. Uh, Olivia will be joining us soon. She's currently stuffing her face. Stuffing her face. Now. Dipping her. Do you use my full legal neck? Oh, Olivia. Ooh. I was going to say her last name, but probably. Actually, your username has your full name now. You, like, change your username every day. <laughs> I haven't touched it. You haven't touched it? Your it was, like, name? shrimply lived for a while. No, -uh, it said, oh, it says at, and then it's your full name. Yeah. That's at. what it is. Mm. That's what it is. Well, a couple things. Um... Brooke started yesterday. She did. Which is super exciting. So why don't you tell uh, tell everyone a little bit about Brooke and what she'll be doing here? Because, um, I mean, it's super exciting for the members, at least. Yeah. Um, so she's going to help me and DJ M. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Um, her big main focus in the beginning is definitely <clears throat> going to be membership and, like, making sure we're... I mean, we've been doing members-only videos every week, but um, she will be taking those over and then also just, like, staying super active. Um most days of the week at least with membership to just get more intentional with that and um make it really fun so that's like the bulk of it but then she's gonna help with other things too she'll be um the one that's like pioneering the facebook group and she'll be the one setting up our discord and she'll be the one interacting with you guys on the daily did you and say members only videos yeah um yeah just her like focus overall is just like the community aspect of it so anything that goes into that yeah so so we're excited so yeah. you guys will be seeing brooke a lot more and uh one of the things that we did or she did yesterday is she put out a poll for all of our members so if you're a member and you haven't looked yet on our community tab we put out a vote and we're deciding what we're going to add in here next and so we're going to do both shrimp and fish it's just the order in which we do them Yep. And so we wanted to see if you guys wanted to add shrimp first or if you wanted to add fish first. And right now it's looking like fish is the winner. I was selfishly hoping for shrimp. But, you know, sometimes the members just outvote me. Yeah, it'd be and like so, that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. So um, we got, what, another day? So tomorrow's the last day to vote. Yeah, tomorrow she will post a new poll based mm. off of the results of this. With and then we'll decide what what kind of fish or shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, we're we're doing there or we're getting there, and hopefully this week we'll be able to add some stuff in. Obviously, it's still pretty cloudy. I'm gonna add some more filtration to it, um, because I think it needs it. But the mono shrimp are like, they're growing. They're that beautiful. They're they're <laughs> growing to the size of the aquarium. <laughs> Yeah, they, they are, are getting really big. Yeah, like, it'll, there's a ton of buried ones. Now. It'll be nice having her to do all these polls and stuff too, because the whole point of like this room was to have input from members to get it set up, and we have to get it set 100%. up by July. Yeah, and what's in July? Her birthday. Ten years. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. So you know what also is crazy? You. Mm oh. <laughs> I mean that's true. Be big Tito. <laughs> big Tito. <laughs> So, my first employee ever, I guess Mark could technically count as my first employee ever, but, like, he's really not an employee. Like, he's more or less, like, he's like that stray dog that, like, came around and then just never left. <laughs> but we love him. Um, so, my first, like, official employee that's, like, 9 to 5 type employee was Jeff, and Jeff is actually coming today to visit. So he, he took a half day at work, um, and this all happened, I reached out to him like two weeks ago. I had a memory on my phone of like him catching fish, and so I sent it to him. I'm like, dude, can you believe this was six years ago? Like, hope everything's going well for you. And he's like, yeah, man, like, that's so crazy. And I was like, anytime you want to come visit, like, I'd love to have you down. And so then he reached out, and he's like, oh, I'd love to come down. That's and cool. so uh, so he's coming today, and so we're going to, I'm going to give him a little tour. We're going to go out to lunch and just catch up, see how life's been treating him. So that's really looking cool. forward to it, yeah. So that's exciting. But yeah, 10 years. Insane. What's that song? Insane in the membrane. <laughs> Isn't that a song? There's a song. <laughs> Is that an inappropriate song? I don't even know. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've heard it. Yeah. It's definitely a little hardcore, I think. Is it? Yeah. How's the ending go? 
had the ending? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, didn't you just say it has a hardcore ending? No, I just think that it's like a hardcore song. Oh. Um, like, musically. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, Leather, I know uh, you said you, you had a little bit of a rough night. I did. Fill us in. Give us the deeds. I mean, the skinny is that the Ramsey girls did not want to sleep from 4.30 to 5.30 this morning. And my alarm's at 6.30. Those so, stinkers. You know, when you go back to sleep for just like an hour, then it makes waking up that much worse. And then I f- realized I forgot to pack lunches for everybody, so I had to hurry up and do that. And then I got here and realized I didn't bring my backpack, which has my laptop in it. And Ugh. But the good news is I have some projects that I need to do anyway that don't need my laptop. So yeah. that's what I'm working on today. Perfect. Well, that's good. At least yeah. we get caught up on some stuff. Yeah. It so won't be a waste of time. My night. <sighs> Little Maisie. <laughs> she worked me over last night. <laughs> she had her iPad and uh, she was watching a movie like towards the end of the night because me and Amanda were trying to get things done. So it's kind of like a babysitting tool. Yeah. And so we gave it to her, and she's watching this movie. She's watching Toy Story. And we get ready for bed, and she's still watching it. So get her jammies on, on and all that. We go and lay down, and I go to take it away from her, and it has 10 minutes left. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll turn off the lights, we'll watch it, and when it's over, we'll shut it off. Critical mistake. <laughs> so we turn off the light, we're in bed, and she's watching it. Well, now she thinks it's okay to like watch iPad in bed before mm-hmm. bedtime with the lights off and everything. Mm-hmm. And so this little stinker, she loves watching Coco, which is like her, her second favorite show, maybe her favorite show. And so the movie ends and I turn it off and she's like, show, show, Coco, Coco, please. <laughs> and then she just lost it for yeah. like, I want to say like 45 minutes. Like it was just a constant like show, show, Coco, please. (laughs) And uh, so now I know that like, okay, if all the lights are on and we're not going to bed, it's okay to have it in there. But like when it's bedtime, lights go off, like no iPad whatsoever. That's the interesting thing about parenting is you never know when you're accidentally opening a door that you don't want to until you've already done it. Yeah. And And my thing was like setting clear boundaries. So like if dad says no... And then, like, crying for X amount of time, if I change my answer, then it shows her that, like, crying for 30 minutes gets her what she wants. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, you can cry for five hours. This is not changing. Yeah. Just so it sets those clear boundaries. So, like, it was not a fun going to bed night no. last night. No. But I it. feel it. Um, little Milo, though. I took over for Amanda at 4 o'clock, and uh, little Milo was cute, and... Ended up going to sleep right away for me, so I got extra sleep that I normally that don't get. Oh, love when that happens. So it was a it was an okay night. Uh, Liv, are you ready? Come on in. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> please. You're you're please. welcome. So yeah, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad night for me. So I got a decent amount of sleep. Um, I'm back on my diet. We talked about this last week, and I wouldn't even consider it a diet. It's more or less like. A li- lifestyle. A lifestyle, right? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It's a diet. <laughs> that is not, that is let's not be a freaking honest. It is a it is a diet. Zero carbs, zero sugars, a pound of bacon, green beans. <laughs> a pound of bacon and green beans. What do you? Where did these green? Where did the, oh, the green beans make sense? Where did the bacon come from? Because it's <clears throat> Mission Impossible. Mission was, Impossible. Yeah. What am I saying? Mission Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> green beans. And. Those things are covered in butter and bacon and who yeah. knows what else. And so I was just giggling about that in my office yesterday because when it actually hit me that you're dieting but you were eating like barbecue green beans. I guess the green beans a green bean, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, my thing is like you follow it to the best of your ability, right? Like, is eating Mission Barbecue green beans better than eating French fries from McDonald's? Depends on what better means. God. Is it how it makes you feel? I asked the wrong person. <laughs> better. Better, right? I mean, I would say it's better, but I don't like Thank their, you. I don't like their green beans. But I don't do. like their green beans either. They're terrible. Yeah, I really don't like them. I just ate them because like, I need a vegetable, and that's the only vegetable they had. Their green beans are great. You really think they're great? Yeah. I'll make you my green beans, mm. 
And then maybe you just like like that bitter Can we have a green flavor. bean off, bitter. please? Yeah, I'm going to have my mom make some oh, of her no. green beans. I'll bring them. They're my favorite. Mm-hmm. I have three pounds of fresh green beans in my fridge right now. Maybe I'll make the Why green three beans. pounds? Why, and fresh? Yeah. Like you have to, like, you cut them up yourself and then make them? Yeah. Wow. Pick you are an garden. old soul. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I saw your post about doing crossword puzzles. Just like regular your, puzzles. Oh, doing regular puzzles Which on your dining room table? Which might be worse. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It is fun, though. There is one sitting on my table right now. So proud. Yeah. Well, Liv, we didn't get to talk about your morning and your night. Everything go good. You have a good night. Good morning. Yeah. No, you didn't have Curtis this morning for bagging. Nope. <clears throat> um, Somebody farted on his pillow. So must he has, have. He has pink eye. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> the toots. <laughs> they always they always oh, surface. They yeah. do always surface. Yeah, you love to out people. <laughs> what? Nothing. That someone tooted on his pillow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I just like I just like informing everyone of what's going on. I didn't know Shallon actually had the toots last week. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> No. What? I don't know. We're actually bringing Shallon on this week, right? That's the plan. Hopefully they're not watching. We need her. Yeah, when do, we, when do you want to do that? What? We just have an important question to ask her. Oh, yeah. That only she can answer. Only she can answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that'll be fun. Yeah, at some point. I don't know. But anyway, so you, you had a decent night. Yeah, I slept well-ish. Um, which is good enough for me. Do you want to know something really funny? And I didn't <laughs> do, do it. I? I didn't do it, but I re- everything in me wanted to do it, and I decided not to. So when I was leaving yesterday, I noticed that your computer was on. Uh-huh. And so then I was like, how funny would it be if I found a picture of you, like downloaded uh. one on Facebook, <laughs> and then edited it to be like on a shrimp, got rid of your eyebrows, and I'm like, this is going to be great. And I change it to your background. But I'm just like, man, like, I really wouldn't want someone being on my computer <laughs> if I wasn't here. Because, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, business information and stuff on there. So, like, if someone did it, like, I would think that they wouldn't, like, snoop around on it. Yeah. Right. But, like, then it was, like, one of those things that I'm like, <clears throat> ah, I don't want to, like, invade her privacy yeah. by doing it. But it would have been funny. <laughs> you come in this morning instead of a bear as your background. Yeah. It would have been a... Shrimply live with no eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. I probably wouldn't notice until noon. Oh, I would have been so bummed too. That like, would have been like waiting for you to say something. <laughs> yeah. No, all that's on my computer pretty <clears throat> much is um, fish orders. So you wouldn't have been upset if I did it? No. Darn it. There's nothing on there really. So Rob, does that answer our question of what you do all day? Yes. <laughs> Prank people. <laughs> Prank people all day. <laughs> he said actually class clown I spend 60% of my day talking <laughs> oh I won't say talking I'll say I spend 60 60% of <laughs> I spend 60% of my day in conversations yeah I think it's much more than that you think yeah what do you think it is 90 Ninety percent of my even day. if it's not like with one of us, you're on the phone with Amanda or somebody random. Somebody random. Hmm. Building relationships. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Developing leaders. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, where would where would any of us be without you? I mean, where would you be, right? You made me. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me uh, Dee Dee. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, Guppy Joe can't be here today because he has a oh, dentist appointment, gosh. but he did pop on to tell us that he had to miss <coughs> Yeah, he said um, it was something like what Mark had done, like whether he's getting a bunch of teeth pulled or mm, something wow. crazy. Wow. It's a lot. So, yeah. It's, we it's have Brant- Branton Lightcap. All right. Brand. Fish, fish, of course. Uh, of course. Well, our bougie, is... our bougiest fish is here. Yep. Um, our bougiest bish. Whoa. 
<laughs> She's Whoa. self-proclaimed. So that's like okay. me calling you Double D or whatever, <laughs> and, and being mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, RLC Aquatics, Darren Jennings. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, <coughs> the one that I messed up last week or a couple weeks ago, I think, and then Liv said some. What did you say? Whose name did Zillerin? you mess up? I don't know. With the X? Yeah. Is that I what you said? Remember. I don't know. Just I ask mean, them. How do we, have, it? we have DJM in the chat. DJM. Ooh. Yeah, ask him to spell it phonetically for and us. And Lumpy Dog. Lumpy Dog. Lumpy Dog's an OG. Mom's here. Andrea? Aww. Yeah. Aww, shocked. She says, thanks for, thanks you for guys are hilarious in, this morning, she says. That's our goal. That's our goal. <laughs> well... Why don't you uh, why don't you share the topic of today's talk for us? <clears throat> Today we are talking about the best nano fish. Oh. So, I mean, we could talk the about the best nano fish. The best. So obviously, that's a little bit subjective. Ooh. Since we're talking about the best nano fish, I want to share my exciting news. And so, you all watching don't have to wait till Sunday to find this out. But oh, do you have no other exciting news? Mm -mm. So one of our 10-gallon breeding tanks over there, the pygmy swordtails, had two babies. I was going to say, you're a dad. I am a dad. I figured I'd let you dad. share the news first. <laughs> Thank you. You're a fish dad. Yeah. So it is Zillerin. Zillerin? Except. Yep. Did you yeah. see it in there this morning? Did you check? Yeah, there Yeah, there. so I saw one last night, yeah. and then I checked this morning, and then there was two. Oh. So they, they doubled wow. in 24 hours. Or That's called hours. mitosis. <laughs> is that what it's called? No. <laughs> Value now. But yeah. mitosis is when the cell divides oh, and multiplies. But. Thank you. You're too <clears throat> smart. Nope. <clears throat> nope. So, we could talk about our top selling nano fish, but the, the um, assignment was for us to all come with our top three mm -hmm. favorites. And mm -hmm. also for the chat to be letting us know on their top three favorites. Yeah. Well, so, do we all want to share one at a time? Sure. Sure. I want to take notes. I want to. I want to see. <coughs> I want to see what fish takes the lead here. Mm, that's a good idea. So is this like a debate then? No, I just want to know like what's our general consensus. She wants to know what she mm. needs to buy next week. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go first? Mm. And are we gonna go with our top favorite one and then work down, or start with our mm. favorite? We should start and with our, our third favorite. Okay. And then go to our number one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I know mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know mine. Yeah. Emily? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sheesh. Okay. Who, <laughs> Emily, why don't you go first? Oh. Okay. Third, starting with your third favorite. Oh, like my least favorite. Your least favorite of the three. Well, my least favorite of my favorite. Your least favorite favorite. <laughs> um, the <clears throat> peacock goby. Ooh, that's a really good one. Interesting. That one's pretty and colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leather. Um. So I would say. Dang it! I just don't know between <laughs> my my second and third which ones which. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the the dwarf garami. Dwarf garami. Wow. They are pretty. Yeah, I like fish that I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to like the bigger fish. Fair enough. Of Fair the enough. nano fish. Uh -huh. yeah. <clears throat> um, I'd first like to give a special shout out <laughs> to <laughs> one specific fish. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know. Simon. Simon. Aww. Yeah. Rest in peace. Um, so, Simon is my favorite fish. Was. <laughs> we need some sad <laughs> music going in the background. Yeah. Can, we all, yeah. can we all give five seconds of silence for Simon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for... <laughs> I, 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 I want to Liv. <laughs> we'll have a Except for Liv. In a moment. Everyone was ready except for Liv. No one knows who Simon is. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Simon was a Siamese algae eater who inhabited our Glossostigma plant tank um, and kept it real tidy for us. Um, our best maintenance guy, honestly, at Flip Aquatics. He was always keeping that tank clean. Mm -hmm. um, and he was just the cutest little fella with his little whiskers and whatnot. 
Um, and he sadly, I think, got sucked down a drain tube. Is that what happened? Yeah. So, he passed away, unfortunately. So now we can have our moment of silence. Thank you. <laughs> I just love how much you love Simon. <laughs> that is sad. He was very special. So is your third favorite fish That's Simon's my Fourth. Fourth? Yeah. What's yeah. your third? Doesn't even make it on the <laughs> roster. <laughs> No, he, yeah. it is written down. He's though. a runner up. Um, I think the glow light Danio. <laughs> the glow light the Danio. Oh, the glow That's light actually Danio. a good one. Yeah. I just think they're uh, underrated. Yeah. Like, I don't know that they're that popular, but, like, they're very colorful, and are Danios so are all r- always really active, and shout out. Yeah. <clears throat> so, mine would definitely be an Endler. And if I had to. At number three? Yeah. Oh, wait, a specific one? Well, no, just endlers in general, but if I had to pick a specific one, I'd probably go with, like, the Bengal tiger endler. That one is really cool. Yeah. We didn't have any males in, like, we didn't have any pairs or I would have chosen for one of these tanks. So we'll have to, we'll have to keep our eyes out. I'll get on that. Yeah. But the Bengal tiger endler. Tiger endlers in general are pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. But, all right, number two. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of between two. I don't know. I'd say maybe, is it the killy clownfish? Or clown clown fish? killy? Clown killy, killy yeah. Clown killy fish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I Other, can otherwise known as the rocket. The, yeah. rocket yeah. Killy, killy is the overarching. Okay, okay. Uh, so clown killy fish. Yeah. Yeah. I like those. They are super colorful. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think they're really cool. And I yeah. like their little, their little blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. My number two would be Corey's. I think they're cute little fellas. Which one? Any? I really like the Sturby and the yeah. Julie or whatever it is mm-hmm. that you just got in. I think those mm. are re- both really cute. You're welcome. Good job, Liv. Mm. Good choice. Thank you. <clears throat> um, for me, I think it's the Bolivian Ram. Ooh, that's a really good one. Cool. Bolivian Ram. So mine is like, I don't know which one I would choose, but they're both pretty much the same fish, just different colors. Either the green kubatai or the blue axle rod eye. Mm. So they're both like green or blue. Yeah. Amazing fish. So that'd be my number two. Hmm. Number one. I'm feeling the pressure on this number one. Ooh. I don't know. I really do like the colorful fish. It's like between the gardener's killy fish and like the blue fin. No, is it no though? Oh, you're a killy girl. Yeah, yeah. it definitely has like a, a fish style yeah although <laughs> yeah. it was which ones only live like one year they call them isn't annuals. that the nozo one huh? the bluefin nozo isn't that the one that doesn't live as long uh yeah i was doing like a whole like deep dive on them because i just thought they were super cool and literally they're like yeah these are annuals like yeah like how <clears throat> plants are annuals i'm like <clears throat> now you have to replant them every year <laughs> so a lot of killifish and i learned this from a killifish breeder will live longer than a year but like where they're from, mm. what they do is they they're in puddles, mm-hmm. right? So they they breed in the puddles, they lay their eggs, and then the puddle dries out and they die. Mm-hmm. And then the next rainy season, mm-hmm. it fills back up, and then the eggs hatch. Mm-hmm. So that's why they're mm-hmm. annual. So the eggs like lay that, dormant. Actually, that's yeah. part of what you read, wasn't it? <clears throat> yep. Yeah. But then it also said that they jump from puddle to puddle. Oh yeah. Which I think is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> just imagining like puddles yeah. and like all these fish just like shooting around. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of times when you buy killifish, you buy the eggs, mm. and then you hatch them yourself, so that you get, like, the maximum amount of lifespan. Hmm. Wow. <clears throat> so that's cool. Every day. Killifish girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Well, I don't think I could be Mrs. J. Guppy if guppies weren't my number one. <laughs> oh. But I really, really like the pink metallic ones. Mm. I think pink those metallic. are really pretty, because they're, like, pink and purple. Yeah. yeah. And those are my two favorite colors, so... That's my Guppies number one. is the number one. First. Mrs. J. Guppy. Liv? I'm just fact checking myself <clears throat> to make sure I don't lie. <clears throat> well, we, we do not tell lies. We do not tell lies. I know. That's why I feel like there's a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> I just, there's so many fish that I do like. Yeah. Yeah, I have a bonus fish because. We can do bonus round next. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe the red Stop neon. Stop talking. Bonus round after. 
<laughs> red neon blue eyed rainbow fish. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a nice contrast. I don't know. I like like pinky red fish. Mm. Anything with those colors. Um, I'm there for it. Well, mine is a pea puffer. I know. They just have so much personality for a tiny fish. So, I think like, it's funny when people call them murder beans. Murder beans? <laughs> that is hilarious. I've never heard it before. We got spooky noodles and murder beans. <laughs> murder beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pea puffers are great. They just, they're the one fish that will like come to the glass and like mm-hmm. not necessarily interact with you, but like they're not just like blindly like feed me, feed me. They're like curious about what you're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing that I think is interesting <clears throat> is um, I feel like whenever I go past like our either usually like blue rams or electric blue rams, they're always like they immediately like turn and they're all like in a line <laughs> like if you just look into their tank it's almost a little scary <laughs> because no, they're all like, s- like squared no, up to you that's funny well, that's cool those are good top threes so let's do let's do bonus round well i don't know because i pretty much said two for my for my top favorite so i guess one of those two would be my well, pick a round. pick a non killy fish then um i don't know i was thinking about some kind of guppy or something because I do think that guppies are cool. Yeah. I could go green cobra, or I could go. Okay. Now I'm trying to think of what it's called. Okay, we'll just go rainbow guppy because at first mm. I was like I was doing a rainbow fish like series, and I was telling leather I was like these things aren't even rainbow. What the heck? And then literally you see like their iridescence and like they pick up the mm. rainbow, and I'm like, oh, so that's why they're called rainbow guppies. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Newfound appreciation for them, I guess. That's awesome. I think my bonus fish is something that I don't feel like we sell a ton of, but we do have them, and it's the platies. Yeah. I think the they're platies. cute. I was surprised yeah, Liz wasn't cute. a platy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do like I do like the platies. I really like the calico blue, is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. That one, and then the panda We just one. sold our last couple of those. They're so cute. But the panda platies, I like those. Yeah. Yeah. And they're live bears too, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Platies are. I feel like I never see babies in those tanks. Oh. Hmm. They eat them <laughs> right away. Because <laughs> they're such a big fish. Yeah. So, like, it's a lot easier for them to eat it. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. That tracks. That's my bonus fish. <clears throat> Yeah, there's there's like so many videos of like life and death in five seconds and it's like the mom g- gives birth turns around eats the baby <laughs> it's, it's a vicious world it's crazy where are the maternal instincts they're just not there oh they're just not there. no no Liv, what's your bonus fish Mm, maybe um the rainbow shiner mm. i think when rainbow when, shiner is a good one when they're colored up i think they're really pretty so, and i Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I feel like they're also, like, underrated. Like, I know Emily's come to me a couple of times and be like, I thought these were supposed to be cool. <laughs> That's how and I always not. feel about fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rainbow. She wants it to be yeah. an actual rainbow. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. But, so um, rainbow shiners would be really good in, like, a p- outdoor pond mm. because, like, you're just looking down at them and that's where you see, like, the colors. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, because I was walking through uh, yesterday, and, like, they just, like, caught my eye because they were so, like, shiny and colorful, and um, I get why they call it a rainbow shiner. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think they're cool, though. What's or, your bonus, Rob? Oh. Can I have a second bonus? Sure. Sure. The shell dwellers that we have downstairs, yes. those are really cool. We don't have those listed yet, Yeah, do that's no. on my agenda for, um, well, this, this month. Like, maybe this week. But they're something I want to let the Crystal Club members have first dibs on. Yeah. Good choice. <clears throat> Can I have first dibs, too? Where are you going to put them? I'm going to have a tank in my office. Mm. I'm excited. You're going to have a huge tank I'm in excited office. to get my office <clears throat> tank set up. I'm buying a 125-gallon uh, a tank, and I have no idea where we can put it. But we can put it in your office. I'll take it. <laughs> I was thinking about putting it upstairs, but I'm like, like that would be awful if like it sprung a leak. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, on the first floor, it's not as bad, yeah. but if it's on the third floor, or yeah. the second floor, and then it goes to this floor, and then the next floor, it'd just be terrible. Yeah. yeah. Would Would Mark be able to, to make it look pretty? Mark? Didn't he make all this? Oh, it comes with a stand and a canopy. Oh. So it already looks pretty. Beautiful. Yeah, <coughs> yeah I want to take it in my <coughs> office, but it'll have to be much smaller than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> 
So my bonus fish would be uh, CPDs. Mm -hmm. Celestial Pearl Danios. I think they're super pretty. Can you... Go ahead. Can you just explain, because I'm still trying to understand and wrap my head around it, why it's a Celestial Pearl Danio, but also a Galaxy Rasbora, but also a Galaxy Micro whatever. Like, why does it go by so many different names? And what is it actually? Is it actually a Danio? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I would we have appreciate to, the honesty. Yeah, I, w- I would have to do more research around it. Yeah. But I, I, I believe it's actually a Danio. Okay. And then it just got misclassified at some point. Because basically nothing calls it a Danio. Like, when I order and stuff. But I don't know. Um, but I feel like they, they, in like body shape and mannerisms, I feel like they somewhat resemble the Dwarf Emerald Rasbora. Yeah? Let me actually closely. look it up, because now I'm really curious. Well, while you're doing that, let's see what th- the chat has to say. Um, Emily, the bu- bougie bitch, not, <laughs> not DJM, um, says, Corydoras has status, which I think that's one on our list to try <clears throat> to find, but we haven't had luck with that. Um, Zillerin says, Corys are awesome. Mm-hmm. Corys are cute. Outside in Aquatic says, I want to breed Rummy Nose Rasboras. Mm. Branton Lightcap says, Black Mollies will always be my favorite. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Chris Lad, number three is Sparkling Garamis, two is White Clouds, and one is Golden Wonder Killy. Golden Wonder Killy? Yeah, you have to check that out. Um, yeah, the. We just did pictures of the long fin white cloud minnows on Monday, oh. and those were really pretty. I think Rob just featured those in one of the videos that he did, too. I think it was last week's long form. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, Zillerin also says green Moscow guppies. I think, yeah, Zillerin said they got green Moscow guppies from us. <clears throat> they arrived yesterday, and they're beautiful. I really mm. like those guppies, too. Yeah. Which ones? The green Moscows. Mm. They came in this week? No. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Couple yeah. weeks ago? But he oh, got his. They, yeah. <clears throat> Dylan just got. Yeah, um, right. yeah, I think the green Moscow, the pink metallic, and the flame guppy are. The flame those is are really probably cool. my top three guppies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like guppies, they need their own conversation because they're. There's, there's so, so many types. Yeah. So yeah. many types. Yeah. Yeah, we could do our top three favorite guppies. Yeah. Yeah. In next week's video. In next week's <laughs> video, we're talking about guppies. <clears throat> Yeah, that Golden Wonder killifish is neat. Can yeah. you share with the class? We'll share with the class. Can we, do? Can we get a little a little beauty fish. influencer action, oh, yeah. Liv? Um, hey, I did find out about the CPDs, too. Do tell. Dun, dun, dun. So when they were originally introduced in the hobby, no one knew what they were. So they assumed that it was a Rasbora. So they started calling it like Galaxy Rasbora, Firework Rasbora, things mm-hmm. like that. And then when they did more research, it's not a it's not a Rasbora or a Danio, mm. but it resembles closer to a Danio than it does a Rasbora. So they called it a Danio, but then they gave it its own genus. Hmm. Hmm. So it's neither a Danio or a Rasbora, but it's closer to a Danio than a Rasbora. So that's why they mm-hmm. called it a Danio. But originally they called it a Rasbora, so it still goes by that name. Yeah. The more you know. Yeah, I really want to do a deep dive on, like, what makes a certain type of fish a certain type of fish. Because, yeah. I don't know, sometimes I'll, I'll, like, look at two fish and I'll, some of them I'm like, okay, they look similar enough that, like, what makes... I also see that people use, like, tetra and rasbora interchangeably mm-hmm. with some species, too. And it's like, so what makes a rasbora a rasbora and a tetra a tetra? Yeah, well, I was thrown off by someday. the bumblebee gobies. We took pictures of those, and I was like, that's not what I was expecting, because we also did, or last week we did pictures of the blue neon and the orange Van Gobi. Right, so it's so like, I'm like how, what is this? how is this little worm little critter, yeah. how is that a Gobi, <laughs> yeah. and also the night Gobi is a Gobi, Yeah, yeah. and, and the that. bumblebee Gobi is a Gobi, and the peacock Gobi is a Gobi. Yeah. And none of them look the same, except for the, the, the neon blue, blue the cobalt, yeah. and the orange fin Gobi. They look the same, but... Because yeah, all the stiffenon gobies are all one type, mm-hmm. and then the peacock goby is actually like a completely different genus. Yeah, but they're all still gobies. 
crazy though. There's yeah. so much. There is so much. And that's freshwater fish. <laughs> and the know? peacock goby is actually very similar to a killifish. Mm. That's why Emily loves it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why, why Emily I likes it. it. <laughs> that tracks. What about the night goby? I don't know. I don't know the night goby. Oh. Is that a new one? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Is it completely different? Uh, kind yeah. of. It's more. It's more no, like a peacock it goby. Um, but big. Is it? And it's fully aquatic <laughs> or fully freshwater. <laughs> Wait, was that the one that? I hope. Yeah, Faith really liked that one because I think I put it away. After I Picture like the Day. bumblebee ones. I think they're cute. yeah, they are cute. So some of them are brackish water. Oh. Hmm. This um, guy. Yeah. We ordered that. <laughs> we ordered that. <laughs> Stop looking into it. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely a brackish water one. Well, they're chilling. They well, look they're happy. Doing fine? Yeah. What's the other one we got? Bumblebee. Uh, the bumblebee. Yeah. Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just out here learning every day, folks. <laughs> yeah, they're all so brackish. They're all happy. <laughs> I mean, it. So brackish water, like they can survive in fresh water, but they prefer mm. the mix. Yeah, that's that, crazy. Same with uh, a lot of the puffers too, though, right? Yes. Yep. Same type of thing. Okay. Except for the freshwater puffer. And I think the figure eight, those two are the ones that... I think figure eight's brackish. Is it? Yeah, I think it is too, actually. Because I think we were discussing that before. Um, so Lumpy Dog says, brand mm. new 29 gallon setup with, with under gravel filter. Will be heavily planted with neos and monos. What nano fish do you all recommend? Can you read that again? Mm. Yes. Brand new 29 gallon setup with under gravel filter. Will be heavily planted with neos and amanos. What nano fish do you all recommend? Endlers. <laughs> Guppies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you recommend? Yeah, that's where I don't I don't know what I could say, but I do think like a, a nice small rasbora I think like the red of a chili rasbora would go well with oh, the plant. Um, oh, you broke and, my fingers. <laughs> and I know the rasboras wouldn't eat the shrimp. So <laughs> Jackson put the shell dwellers in our. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you shouldn't share stories like this. <laughs> in our. Retract, retract. <laughs> in our one tank. And the shell dwellers are really happy in that tank, and that was the end of the story. <laughs> yeah. I said, let me cut the mic real quick and we can share. Yeah, yeah the other inhabitants that were in there were not so happy. Static. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I bet, I bet they have full bellies. Why would you say that? Because we feed them every day? <laughs> exactly. <of course>. Yes. <laughs> hey, where did all our shrimp go? <laughs> He's like, I didn't take them out. <laughs> So, someone says there are several types of bumblebee goby. Some are fully freshwater. Mmm. My <laughs> drop. And they're so. dropping, like, scientific names and stuff, too, Ooh. but I'm not well, even going to try. I can tell try. you what they are, I think. Ooh, I'm going to be Brachygobius excited for this Yeah, oh, uh, let me see. Um, I'll have to figure out where. DJM, what would you recommend for a 29-gallon tank? Yeah, rasboras, like what Olivia said. Exactly. Rasboras. Yeah. yeah, Emily and I are always on the same page. Always. Clown killies. You always. could recommend clown yeah. killies. Yeah, because they occupy the top of the Yeah, they wouldn't even like really mess with the shrimp. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could, but most of the time they're at the top of the water. So. I'm trying to think um, of what is on a recommended on the website. Mm. Okay. Hey, Dorian that could be a good blog post. Is what? Recommendations mm-hmm. for shrimp for... That first green our, one is the scientific name. That's not the, what they said. This Read it. one is Brachygobius xanthomelis. Brachygobius. Wow, that was actually really good. How do you know? You don't know what it says. It just sounded good. <laughs> Liv, you try. It sounded believable. No. Come on. <laughs> Live a little. No, I don't know how. But Brachygobius, if that's what we're going, it starts with that. Um, and then it's like Dorier or something like that. Yeah. Dorier. Yeah. Dorier. Just sounds I French. think the key is just saying it with confidence. Dorier. And no yeah, that, I, I tell that people that all the time because when I'm down with my team in plants, they'll be like, the... Uh, 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 like, and, oh. 
Anubius. Yeah, and I'll just make something up. Or, like, not make it up, but, like, I'll take my best guess. And I'm like, yeah, I think it's whatever. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. And I'm like, it's me, me neither. <laughs> I need a tech challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Plant names can be hard, too, Should Shallon just sit between us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can move you my guys. mic over. Well, she's loud enough. They'll probably be able to hear her. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Are we going to have her do her dance? I think we should. I think we That'd should. That'd be hilarious. Do a little dance. We're not going to be able to hear her. Probably. What am I doing? Oh, you'll be able to hear her. <laughs> you'll be able to hear her. Rob, your eyes. Oh, you'll be so able to hear everyone's her. everyone's favorite <laughs> nano fishes. Well, I can speak for the three of us, but Rob, tell us. Are your favorite nano fish uh, your favorite for any particular reason? Or just because you like the way that they look? Because for all of us, we just like the way that they look. I can guarantee that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the only reason pea poppers are my favorite is because of their personality. So mm-hmm. that's not the way they look. And then... We're all just self-absorbed here. We the just rasboard. love the way things look. <laughs> <laughs> the rasboards are because of how they look. And yeah. also because, like, they're not the easiest fish to get. Did so you say a rasbora? Yeah, the green kubatai. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. the blue axle rod eye. Yeah. So they're, they're not as easy to get, so I like, like... That they're not very common. Yeah. And they also look really cool. Yeah. And then endlers, I just like, I just really enjoy endlers right now. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why they're my favorite. Yeah. So like the color doesn't really mean much to me. It's just like, mm-hmm. they're fun. Yeah. Well, I like that the killifish jump out of puddles, so. <laughs> you just like killifish. <laughs> yeah. There's so many types of killifish, too. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I just think that they all are pretty cool. And they're all like different. You know Killifish what I mean? are actually really easy to breed, too. Really? Yeah, there's a couple different methods, but, like, I know one guy that I went to, like, we'll have to look up the video. Mm -hmm. Um, He only breeds killifish, and he had, like, a huge fish room. And, like, he would take, like, dirt and put it into a pot Mm -hmm. and then, like, you know, let it settle. Mm -hmm. And then they would lay in the dirt. What? And then you just pull the dirt out, and then, you know, it's good to go. Mm -hmm. Or, like, some of them lay it in plants and things like Mm -hmm. that. So, that's cool stuff. He hasn't answered me yet. Okay. Um, uh, you could always do a grabber. Be like, hey, we really need you. What about quarries? Are they easy to breed? Yeah. You could do that. Yeah, so um, everyone that, well, not everyone, a lot of people that I know that breed quarries would do things where they would um, put marbles in the bottom of the tank, and then a lot of quarries, the eggs would fall down to the marbles, and they can't eat them. Mm. And then they would move the adults out, and then the eggs would hatch. Hmm. Um, but some quarries will lay them on the side of the tank, and... The way that you get them to spawn, and this isn't for all quarries, but some quarries, you decrease the temperature of the water rapidly. And so, like, during the winter, you can get snow and put it in the tank, and it drops the temperature How really quick. How cool is that? And causes them to spawn. Wow. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. I like the green quarry, too. I like the pygmy quarry. Yeah. They're so cute. Everybody loves the pygmy quarry. Yeah. They are cute. They're cute. Aren't the pygmy quarry shrimp safe, too? For the most part? Mm, I mean, I would say safe. Okay. They're, I'm cautiously optimistic that they wouldn't eat shrimp. <laughs> but with the addition of a little shrimp tunnel mm. yeah. in, a, in a tank. Help. Come on in. Come in. Shallon, come on in. I didn't know if you were going to come because you didn't answer. I'm like, I don't know if she saw it. <laughs> Listen, be careful. You got to come sit between us. Everyone, everyone wants to hear. They they watched your stories, okay. and they wanted to meet the legend. <laughs> so, uh, so what inspired your dance skills? So, first of all, everyone, this this is Shallon. Hi. <laughs> Shallon is uh, one of our Chick Fil A. Um, Recruits. Yeah. But, she was but you didn't work at Chick-fil-A yeah, when she we, was already when gone from Chick-fil-A. You. Yeah, I was gone. She left. <laughs> but what, what inspired all your dance moves? Probably I, because I've been a cheerleader since I was nine. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you're used to getting up there and shaking it. Yep, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do, are you more nervous now or were you more nervous then? Uh, or you don't get nervous? really get nervous i'll get up in front of anybody it don't matter so if we wanted you to break down and and do the stanky leg would you i would do it you would i would do it (laughs) got some music or you want me to go cold turkey no we well i don't know 
pull up the stanky leg on your phone. <laughs> I can't. So for all of you that <laughs> missed the story. Yeah, I'll hit it. <laughs> <laughs> will will she be in focus? So this is probably the area. Okay, sounds good. And so uh yeah, this is this is huge. Nothing like Wait, this, this has ever happened. The area, what do you mean? This is the area. That's the area? This is the area. I gotta go over here or over yeah, there? Right here. Alright, that gives me enough space. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, I'll get up and do it. Well, it's on Liv. Liv, you ready? Hang on. My my phone's connected <laughs> to my AirPods. <clears throat> Alright, tell him do it. You don't do now? My spot? Oh my god. You might have to move this way a little bit. Go ahead. No, 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 I can't do it. Emily, you want in on this? Leather, Leather, get up there. Come on, you're right there. It's easiest for you. No, I'm literally the worst dancer. Yeah, you're matching. This is like twinsy. It's a no. Leather, don't disappoint the, don't disappoint our audience. No. Just do the, your husband even did the stanky leg the other day. What? Cody did the stanky, stanky leg. If he, he can do it, you can do it. No, he's he can do more things than me. <laughs> well, Shallon, based on uh, your dance skills, okay. we wanted to present you with a trophy. So come on, sit back down. <laughs> so the whole team, we decided to present you with. The Whip and Ath Flip since 2024. <laughs> I love it. So, thank you so much. Here's your trophy. And thank you. Oh my gosh, it has my name. <laughs> thank you for being <laughs> such a great addition to the team. Aw, you guys are so awesome. Yeah, and uh, we just think that you're a phenomenal Wait a person. You're flipping awesome. Flipping <laughs> awesome. Aw, so, how cute. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Well, tomorrow is Thursday. And you know what happens at 2 o'clock? It's, it's a dance, dance party. party. It's a dance party. None of you got to be in on it. So this is every every Thursday at 2 now? Yeah, why not? Yeah, just, for, <laughs> just for a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we pregame with some Pac-Man. Um, and then we, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we start with the Pac-Man tournament, and then we move into the dance party. Oh, my God. This is very true. 2 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be there. 2 o'clock tomorrow. Either be square. That doesn't make sense that you were a dance, you were a dance coach. Oh, yeah. Or cheerleading coach. Yep, for years. For years. I just hung up my hat this year, but other than that, I've been doing it for many, many, many years. Are you going to put the hat back on? I just might. You just might? <laughs> and all my kids were cheerleaders, too. That's awesome. Your, Your son's still a cheerleader, right? He is Ohio State. The the Ohio State. Mm. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Sean, thank you so much for, oh, for coming you. over. We well, appreciate it. it. And do it. You know, guys. we'll we'll take a stanky leg, leg any day. All right. Well, I'm gonna bust it on the way out here too. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. That was awesome. He's showing me the best. Oh, we're definitely getting copyrighted for that. Uh oh. But you know what? You only live once. Not if it wasn't clear enough. It was probably. Do the stanky leg. I mean, that is pretty clear. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I could have, I could have sang it instead. <laughs> well, thanks for offering that at the moment. <laughs> Do Sing the stanky leg. You know I'd rather rap some Kanye. Do it. Yeah, please. No. I only, I only rap. Give us a 10 second rap. No. no. I only rap Kanye on Lexi's birthday mm. and when I'm slightly intoxicated. <laughs> somebody, somebody get her a shot of vodka. <laughs> we can arrange that. Neither of those things right now. <laughs> Maybe in Texas. Come, come to Aquashella. Come, come hang out. And you're gonna Maybe rap? I'll rap some Kanye. Nice. No, can we talk about before we shot the, uh, the shrimp costume videos? And you were like, I need some Kanye on right now. I did. Not even yeah. To get you in the mood. Yeah. That's funny. No, no speaker, speaker nothing, nothing, just on our iPhone. Yeah. Just barely even bumping, <laughs> but it did the trick. <laughs> yeah. Whenever, whenever I, uh, when I'm at the gym, if I'm, like, going for a PR, it's, like, 
Power, Power by, by Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. Full volume. <laughs> and it, it always works. works. It always works. <laughs> <laughs> always works. Even though PR. I do hate Kanye as an individual. I think he's... Hate. I think he's a bad person. <laughs> but his bars, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they go crazy. Oh That's God. hilarious. Well, what's, what's the chat saying, saying about Shaolin's uh, guest dance appearance? Um, well, Ranton says that this weekly live stream needs an award. <laughs> He's hooked. He's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then outside in Aquatic said there's a bad echo. Maybe it was from the... It was probably... No, no, I had my mic pointing at Shaolin, like out into the Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that makes nice. sense. Because it was picking her up from both of us, yeah. probably. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so probably the echo's gone. Should be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Do the axle rod I need softer water? Yes. If if I'm just doing like a general answer, yes. Heard it here first. Andrew C. I, I love, love the humpback limias. Limias. I don't know how to say it. Mm-hmm. 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 I've humpback. seen those recently. I think I've been looking into them. What's that? Uh. Priscilla says we have reverb, too. Mm, we'll have to fix it. We can't fix it now. Oh, those are Let's those are neat. Yeah, those see if it's good now, because one of the other audio mixers was on. Okay. Ooh, Let me see. Yeah. That is a pretty fish. <coughs> we'll have to look to see if we can get that. I would keep that in the gallery. I like that one. Yeah. I notice you have some red swamp cuppies in here now, too. Yeah. And I, I notice you don't have any least killifish. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> They, uh, they're very good at hiding. They're probably in the sublossal. I would have taken more because they're so small. Please. But our inventory is oh, low. Yeah, what, are they not selling good? Mm. Aw. That's sad. But by all means, start breeding them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I breed them for me, not to sell. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is Rob's personal mm. hobby. So room. are you going to try to get that <laughs> humpback fish? Who invited yeah, her? Okay. You, uh, I'll need help remembering. I really like that one. If you put it on the list, I'll look for it. I'm going to breed that in Rob's fish room. I'm going to breed it in my 125-gallon <laughs> office tank. You should. <clears throat> I really... I, I, won't, I won't ruin you what wanna, I want in there. You want to put the thing yeah, in there. Yeah, you can't be... And then we'd have an endless supply of those things yes, forever. That's what I really want. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. you can't say that. You can't be- say what you want in there and sway the Because the, the members boat. get to pick. I really want to encourage them to pick... <coughs> <and there's> some <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Rob, are you okay? You need some water? Yeah, I just need some more coffee. Oh. <laughs> Endlers. Uh, <laughs> can we put some frogs in here? No. Please. I mean, we could, but they would we eat all of our shrimp. It. Oh, yeah, I, I guess frogs their do eat shrimp. I thought big enough. Have you ever seen a full-grown freshwater frog? No. They get thick. They're mm-hmm. thick. Like, ugly thick. Ugly oh. thick. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they don't get, like, thick. fat and beautiful. They get, like... Obese and grotesque. <laughs> <Not> obese. <Yeah. laughs> they look like someone's uh, out of shape dad. Do we have any like that right now? No. Tidy whities on. <clears throat> no, we sell them small. We have a new frog coming in. <gasps> or it came it's in. in. It came in. Hey, how does it look? Uh, cute. Is it better than what um, the albinos The water that it's in has a lot of tannins in it right now, mm. so it's uh, kind of hard to like fully see it. And it's on the top shelf, and I haven't gotten a ladder to like actually get in there. Um, but I think it does look different than, so we got the platinum dwarf underwater, underwater frog, as opposed to the albino or just the standard African dwarf frog. Mm. Um, so keep an eye out on our website for that to get listed and leather will get a picture of the ones that we have. Um, so you guys can see what it looks like too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, they're on the but lineup for next week. Yeah. <coughs> so. I'm really we'll bummed that the least killifish don't sell. Yeah. And they're kind of hard to catch, too, because they're so small that sexing them is, like, kind of a pain. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And they probably, we have them in, like, a, um, <coughs> a sideways tank. So, uh, and so, so it makes it's it hard. even harder. Yeah, visibility is not great. But. Yeah. Yeah, I think with those fish, though, it's, like, more about what they are than how they look. And so I think yeah. it's like an educational thing, which literally it, the world's could do smallest a video. library. Yeah. <clears throat> I do want to yeah. see what a baby looks like because full grown, they're the I've size been waiting. Of a I haven't seen any. Look, you can, see, you you can see them moving around up them. front right now. They're microscopic. Oh, yeah, there's one. Yeah, when yeah. I looked, when I first saw them, super skittish. 
And there it goes. Oh, it's a big boo. Yeah, I'm pumped we have babies over there. What else do you have over here? No other babies. I got the the Millers, the Miller Swordtails. Yep. Love those. Um, the Least Killies, the Red Swamp Guppies, and then the last one. Yeah. Oh, the Sky Blue Endlers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those females are huge. Yeah. Like, I was, like, shocked with how big they were. Yeah, some of the ones that we got, those are from Czech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Czech ones came in hardy. Good. We do love a hardy fish. <laughs> we do. <laughs> sure we, do. We sure do. I think that's do, why though. I like the Bolivian rams. They're just, like, they're built different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, if we tough. were commentators, I could see us being like the commentators from Dodgeball. <laughs> I've never seen that. Or I just know that's how about a Pitch Perfect? Movie. Have you ever seen Pitch Perfect? Mm. When it came out, like yeah. they're just very like bland. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're funny though. Am I am I being insulted right now? <laughs> it's possible. Who really knows? <laughs> I lump myself into this category. Great. <laughs> um, Emily says tadpole could totally fit in a 125. Tadpole being her only remaining angelfish baby. Tadpole? Angelfish. Yeah, we so don't sell any angelfish. Yeah. So Emily Reagan, um, <clears throat> this morning, no reason. Uh, or over the last day or so, um, all of her angelfish, which had just been having babies, started kind of <clears throat> dropping off one by one by one. Ooh. And... She did some investigating, and her uh, water supplier, like her township or whatever, um, they were doing some maintenance and stuff, which mm. was affecting her tank. Ah, so that's the um, word. she got to the bottom of it now, but she's a little upset about it. Um, so yeah, she's looking at an RO system to see if she can control that going forward. It's definitely better yeah. to do it that way. Yeah, it well, stinks sucks. when you have to hear that, learn Emily. about it though, like that. But like. Someone who's never owned an aquarium, someone who has owned many aquariums, like I'm sure you can attest to, like that just happens sometimes. Like oh, things yeah. like that happen. So yeah, yeah, I've seen it happen way too many yeah. times. Probably if you are someone, hey, this is what Brene Brown would say: if you <laughs> dare to have an aquarium, <laughs> then you will absolutely know failure. You will absolutely. Know failure. <laughs> you will absolutely. Hey, we didn't do no our deaths. inspirational quotes yet. Yeah. Is that yours? Your yeah. <laughs> yep. Mine is um, clear is kind, unclear is unkind. Mm, I love that one. Before you say it, <laughs> I'm not. I wasn't gonna steal it from you. I really do like that one, even before you. I'm gonna pull up my quote. And why? Why do you like that? Like, explain explain to the audience what that quote means. So say it one more time. I just want to hear. So it. I mean, it's referring to communication amongst a team and and setting clear or friends or yeah, I mean, partners honestly, or whatever. Um, you know, Bre clear. Brene Brown says interrupting is one of the. <laughs> One of the most unkind things you could she do. She was supplementing. I thought that was Taylor Swift that said <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. Oh, that was Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Interrupting is rude. Um, <laughs> Why'd you look at me? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to look at you. <laughs> you um, gave me the side eye. Maybe I was looking at the camera. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, just talking about communication and like setting clear expectations, clear boundaries, um, and just like communication in general. I really like it because I tend to be an over communicator in general. Mm -hmm. Not to say I'm a perfect communicator. Um, Emily has probably experienced mm -hmm. communication failures from me, but um, that's the goal. Like, I would rather tell somebody way more than they need to know yep. than not tell them enough information because mm -hmm. they're just like, I don't know, it can just cause ish like unnecessary problems. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so having unclear expectations or boundaries or whatever it may be just cr can create a really tough situation that doesn't need to be not, doesn't need to happen to begin with, mm -hmm. making it unkind. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Rob said ditto. What you got? <laughs> um, I don't know, I need a moment. I have I have Ooh. so many. You want me to do mine then? Yeah. So s in the spirit of Brene Brown. Mm -hmm. um, the other quote that we read this week that I really liked is, leaders must either invest a reasonable amount of time attending to fears and feelings or squander an unreasonable amount of time trying to manage ineffect ineffective and unproductive behaviors. Mm. So 
if we choose not to address our fears and our feelings, then we spend all this time trying to not address it, which is an unreasonable amount of time instead of just addressing it in the first place. And so like, I see that happen all the time. Like the tough conversations that you don't want to have, you make reasons not to have them. They cause you a lot of stress and anxiety. And like, then you end up having, having to deal with them anyway. And so it's like, if you would have just addressed it in the first place and handled the problem and like clearly communicated it, then things would have stopped a whole lot sooner. <clears throat> and so, like, I learned this, like, I, I don't even know, maybe two years ago, where, like, I'd much rather have the conversation than go home and, at night and just stress about it. Because, like, why am I stressing over something that someone else is doing when, like, I could just have that conversation with them? Yeah. So, definitely a good thing to learn. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess to have two weeks in a row of, of us all just being on our Brene Brown um, wagon. Mm. I'll say one that I have read for a while. Um, I don't know. I just always talk about Brene and Brown. This is a Brene lot. Brown. Yeah. Nice. Um, but I forget which book it was in. But in one of them, ah, she says, "Integrity is choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is fun, fast, or easy." and choosing to practice your values rather than simply professing your values. Mm. Um, but I think it goes along with both of those two. That's like, it's easy to say like, this is what I am for, or this is what I stand for, or uh, this is what I want, or this is what I want to pursue, but then to actually pursue those things and to actually stand for those things and to actually confront things um, when it conflicts with your values, that takes courage. Um, and so, I think it just goes along with like doing hard things or having the hard conversation or whatever that hard thing might be, but like choosing courage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, also I think with that, like nobody is going to want to follow a leader or maybe even like if it's not a leadership situation, like um, I think it can harm a relationship of any kind whenever you're like saying, this is what I believe in, but like your actions clearly do not align mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes you have to, like, confront that externally, and sometimes you have to confront that internally, and so. So with courage, doesn't she really say, begin. like, you can't know courage without knowing fear? Like, they go hand <clears> in <throat> hand? Mm -hmm. Well, um, yes. Yeah, like, the, it's not courage if there's not a, a fear to begin with. A, yeah, some, some fear in the first place, uh, but, like, you can know both of them, but you have to choose one, I think. Good stuff. Emily, you got any inspirational quotes? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Because you're not going through the book with us, so you're hearing probably some of this stuff for the yeah. first time. Yeah. No, I think that that's really good. I think it's funny, though, because when Leather was talking about, like, over-communicating, I think that's literally a conversation me and you just had over the weekend, Liv, was, like, me and you tend to, especially, like, training in the Chick-fil-A days, like, giving almost too much information. Yeah. And, like, not necessarily that was a bad thing, but it's like, hey – maybe I wasn't told this, but I want you to have this knowledge so that you're better than me. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I would say I'm on the opposite spectrum. Like, I would say I'm the type that under, under communicates. <laughs> mm. Rob says, I'm going to not tell you this information because I always <laughs> want you to be worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, he wants to hold everybody back. <laughs> no, my thing is always like, like I don't want to overwhelm people. So like I give them like, the big picture mm -hmm. and then be like what questions do you have mm. like how can i help you through this process so like i almost go and, and maybe this is the wrong way of doing it but like like for me personally i have more ownership when like i walk through the process mm -hmm. like i don't know like i don't i don't want to be like hey this is exactly how you do it and this is this mm. and this is this like i'm more like hands-on so like i like knowing like okay what's the goal like of this process, like, what's the end goal? Like, what mm -hmm. should it look like? Yeah. And then, like, let me ask you questions along the way if I have them. Yeah, I think some of that is, like, contextual, too. Mm -hmm. So if it's, like, you're going through uncharted territory, I think that might be the best way to do it. Um, but, like, say in the context of a workplace or something, and it is, like, if our bagging process, oh, if, yeah. if it was just, like, hey, so here's a bag. And here's a tank. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Yeah, go do your thing. What questions do you have? Then, yeah. like, obviously, that's a recipe yeah. for disaster. But so, if it's something that you've done a million times and you're like, this is the best way to do it, yeah. this is it's what's best for the customer, it's what's best for the fish, this, yeah. that, whatever. It's like this is the way we need to do it. And so that's where I think like Emily and I would tend to mm -hmm. over communicate those things yeah. and be like, so this is what right looks like, and this is what wrong looks like, and this is why wrong is bad. Like I literally was asking Liv how to tie a bag properly mm. <laughs> because yeah. I wanted to know the best way to tie yeah. a bag. Um, that's like with marketing like I literally had to walk leather through like each tool of marketing and be like this is step one this is this is how you schedule an email <laughs> <laughs> this is how you make an email <laughs> yes <laughs> where, where would we you are. be where would you be with I don't know <laughs> I guess we would be just we, some unmade women yep you know we would just be a two in our marketing again <laughs> But because you taught me everything that I know. Now we're, now we're a seven. <laughs> yep. He taught you everything you know and equipped you to know more. Equipped. 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 I took it back. I'm sitting too close to Rob too. I often. unequipped it. <laughs> oh, I regress. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, someone, someone says, for, the, uh, for me, the most courageous thing is confronting myself. Mm. Mm. Um, and then Branton says, if you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. Mm. That's preaching. I, I like that Branton brought um, a motivational quote. Yeah, you guys should bring motivational yeah. quotes. Every week, if, mm -hmm. if you guys bring motivational quotes, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I love it. Because you, you can never have too much motivation. I've never been too motivated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I've been told I was. Maybe only ever in hindsight. Well, that was a person you probably shouldn't listen to. <laughs> they weren't in the arena with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, facts. As Brene Brown would say, getting their booty kicked. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Some people like to throw the kicks, but never. Oh, yeah. Never dare to be in front of one. No. That's a good Roosevelt quote. I do like that quote. We should get that framed somewhere. Well, Brene, Brene is who extended it to like getting your butt kicked. Oh, she's the one that added Yeah, that? Roosevelt says you have to get in the arena. And Brene says, and you will get your butt kicked. Mm. And it's worth it anyway. Yeah. You go, Brene. Yeah. <laughs> well, what else we got? Priscilla says, is that sugar buzzed, Rob? Sugar buzzed? Oh, this? No, this is literally just black. Like, literally, it says large, cold brew, black. It looks very um, transparent. Yeah. yeah. doesn't look opaque enough for me. It's because of all the ice melted. Yeah. It's like, you can see down. the straw through that. <laughs> <laughs> no? Was there yeah. ice in it? So, when you're dieting, you don't even do, like, almond milk? No, I don't do nuts. Mm. These nuts? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> what time is it? Is it 11? <laughs> it's 11, 11. I'm so proud. Well, so with that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never seen that before? <laughs> no, I'm not familiar. <laughs> He's crying right now. <laughs> Rob, don't cry. They're there. Not Sorry, the it just brings tears of joy. <laughs> No, yeah, I don't do any <laughs> any nuts during dieting. Do you know there's actually a but brand other called times. Yeah. Do you know there's actually a brand called D's Nuts? Like they yeah. made a nut brand called D's Nuts. Yeah, it was also on the ballots one year. It was? You could yeah. vote, you could I think vote it was the nuts? Emily, do you remember what election year that was? It was Wait, was it 2016 that Trump was elected? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was either 2016 or 2020 that D's Nuts was on the ballot. That's I feel like that's a very 2020 thing to happen. <laughs> it does sound like a very 2020 <laughs> it does thing. Feel like 2020. If it was going to happen any year in history, it would have been 2020. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Not saying that's factual, but that's just <laughs> what my gut says. My other favorite viral video is Back Up Terry. <laughs> that one is funny. <laughs> that is the best video. <laughs> Back, Back Up Terry! Oh, God! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, that's maybe really we should recreate that video. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe Terry. That's our short tomorrow, Martin guys. Because he doesn't mm. have teeth right now. And then you could be the one yelling. 
Sure. <laughs> You'd be like, back up, Mark. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Whatever you want, Mark. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, Mark. Oh, um, what about Mike? What if we had Mike be Terry? Because oh, he's, be I feel like, always just down for whatever. He's down for whatever. He found a, uh, did you hear about the skeleton? Oh, my god. A gosh. bird. I yeah. saw it. He found it. Did you see it? Mm. It was crazy. It so was there was like a bird <laughs> in the wall. We're tearing down all these walls. And it's literally, like, so decomposed that it's a perfect skeleton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rob said, did you see the skeleton? <laughs> and uh, what, what, Mike, what Mike did is he carried it up to show Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> and then he threw it in her trash and left it there. I think I was here that day. Was that Monday? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it looked really cool. but Yeah, I didn't see it. I, but I did hear him walk out because I think Jenna was like, what's that? <laughs> and he was like, I had to throw it away. No, I mean, I feel like he took the trash can saga to a whole new level. Yeah, that's that. what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, he did. He said, oh, you don't want to be part of this, Jenna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to be part of this. She is the one I'm that didn't want to be a part of it, too. <laughs> Do you like when I stole your trash can yesterday? Yeah. Did no. you take it back? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if it's back in my office or not. It's fine. I'll get my own trash can. You should get your own trash can. I will. You should. It'll be black, and it'll look better in my office. Yeah, that one, did, it didn't fit your my vibe. your wall decor. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my wall decor. Yeah, it was really <laughs> killing yeah, the vibe in there. Yeah, it was kind of a depressing vibe when you walk in. Yeah, and, like, as soon as All you took the trash can out, that changed. It did. Like, it yeah, was, like, yeah. brighter, yeah. better. More bubbly. Glad that I could make the sacrifice of my trash can to the hallway. <laughs> Hey, if you leave today and go work from home, I have to fill out uh, your PTO form today. <laughs> Better fill it out. My gosh, you guys are putting me to work. Did you come in late today? Do I have to fill it out? No. Heard you were here two minutes late. <laughs> Wait, why would you fill it out if I'm just going to go work? Because so he doesn't trust you. So we have record of it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I did fill one out for the days that I did come in late, though. Did you really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Jenna has it. Wow. You know you're supposed to turn it into me, though. I turned it in before we had that conversation. I'm going to have to write you up. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get one hour um, unpaid <laughs> at starting at 3 o'clock today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Same thing happened at 3 o'clock yesterday. <laughs> it did, <laughs> unfortunately. And you were still here at 5. Designing yeah. Crocs. Yeah, but the last... She did design us some cool Crocs, though. The last, like, 45 minutes, I don't consider work. But <laughs> it was just shenanigans, really. But I mean, I don't consider your nap work either, but... <laughs> I still take it, though. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, there's not really anything else going on in the chat. It's 11.15. Okay. Well, hey, we... I feel like today was a fun stream. We had Shallon out here. We did the stanky leg. Mm -hmm. We got Fantastic. some reverb going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We shared yeah. some... We... So this is the cool thing. We all had different favorite fish. Yeah. Like, none of our fish overlapped. Yeah. Yeah. That's I super didn't expect that. interesting. Which yeah. is a good thing, because I didn't take a single note after I said I would, so... Yeah. So... But you, you do have to get that hump back fish but, um, but, but. <laughs> but yeah all right well on that note thank you guys so much for tuning in so much um, thank you guys for joining enjoy you guys being here weekly um My pleasure rob M, thank you sure for is. running this stream flawlessly always. today always so i'm glad that we got it dialed in we're we're back we're, we're back, back and, baby. And, and doing it right mm -hmm. so you guys make it a great week. As always, God bless. Catch you on the flip side.